This is the uh, Choju Gatai O Blocker from 1995's Cho Yuriki Sentai O Ranger, which became the source of the Power Ranger Zeo in 1996. And this came out as the Super Zeo Megazord. A lot of times these robots go through a transition when being imported to the States, but in this case, it did not change at all. There are no changes from the toy aside from the box. So the toy, I actually don't even like this toy much. I'm going to be getting rid of it after this review. But what's remarkable here is the condition of this box from almost 30 years ago. So I'm going to gush over how beautiful this box is for a bit. Um, and then we'll talk about the toy a little bit. But bear with me. I, I really, when you get something that's this nice from that long ago, you want to kind of savor it. So this toy has um, a front slip cover and then there's no back on it. The Back in the day, they would put these handles on the toys and we've talked about this before. It was to carry home on a train, basically, you know? A lot, a lot of people commute in Japan there, you know, so the things had to be sort of, you're not gonna throw it in the back of your car, you gotta carry this thing home, it's a big box handle, right? And that's kind of a thing they did with older robots. It didn't really last much farther than this, but every once in a while you see like a nostalgic version of something with it. These corners are so tight. It really is a case fresh. I believe when I bought this, then I know who owned it and he probably bought it in the 90s when it came out, stored it and never used it, never opened it. This is pretty, pretty remarkable. I'm going to really try to handle this nicely. Because, um, it in, again, it is in a condition that you don't often see. So let's check out the inside this first cover. And again, I want to be super careful about the condition that this is in. Wow, look at that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Really, really nice. No fingerprints, no creases. The instructions are right there. Uh, it's just very nice all around. Taking off the cover, you have uh, instructions. This little baggie here. Let's see. Oh, you know, it has been opened because the there's tape here, and this wasn't sealed, so probably it has been opened at least at least for inspection. So you have the instructions. You have some unused stickers, and you have information about how to go in the be stored in the back of. Pyramidius, but I don't know if it's got a different name in the uh, O-Ranger. But I'm sure the internet will tell me what those are. So let's look at this toy. I'm going to take it out and we can check out the uh, the bits and pieces of it. You're probably already familiar with it, but we're in a room. So these have always been interesting robots. I haven't put any stickers on. I don't plan on it. They're interesting to me because they're so not traditional looking robots in a Sentai series. And especially for the time, as we got later and later, we had like the Rubik's Cube looking robot. So we did kind of go back to these themes, but very primary school, primary colors, basic shapes, you know, why is, I, I don't know the history in the lore of why it looks like this. I don't really care, uh, but I was never really drawn to it. But now that I look at these, one, I do find it interesting that each sort of has a ranger a helmet on it which, you know, I didn't sort of expect that they had these humanoid heads. Uh, interesting, you know, but they are what they are. They are all plastic, but they're definitely well-made. You know, uh, I, I think they're cool looking. So let's um, look at all of these. And I don't know, I know they're like, you know, blocker one, blocker two, whatever, but I don't necessarily know which one is which at the moment. So let's just transform some of these, right? So... I'm going to say this is the red one. <laughs> Pretty simple to do. And then you just sort of flip these around. And they clip in the back here. These old clips do get kind of fragile. I'm a little nervous. All right. This one is kind of interesting in that it comes like out. The yellow one, we'll call it. And I know a lot of these, you get like all the deep dive information about all the different ranger stuff and Sentai stuff. Uh, that's not happening today. 
There's also a little panel here, I think, to open up to or push. Oh, spring loaded. That's cool. Nice. Wasn't aware of that, but that's pretty excellent. And then these things go. Ooh, they should go down. There we go. Jesus, don't break on me. All right, there we go. You come around there. Excellent. All right, there's another piece of the puzzle. This guy, his arms come around. Like that. Please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. These are going to come around the back. And look, something like that until you do this. Again, that's kind of involved. All right, maybe I didn't give this design enough, enough credit when I first started out. Okay, here's the green one, we'll call it. And uh, let's move his arms. Uh, I think they go back. Oh, they just go back like this. Excellent. Back like that. And these come out. I said, these come out. There we go. Back up. Oh my God, I don't want to break anything. Okay, excellent. And then now, this comes like that. And then there are panels here. These panels come around. Same thing on this side. Okay, excellent. One more to go. The pink one. So the pink one just goes in like that. And then these kind of come in. And then they separate. Okay. And this, I guess this panel opens, the head comes down, panel closes. Great. So we got to make a Megazord out of all these pieces. All right, here we go. The pink one makes the feet. And then these green ones sort of clip on like so. And then the blue one becomes the upper legs. The blue one becomes the upper legs. Cooperate with me, blue one. The star just looks like it clips into the clips here. And those little clips in this era were very fragile. There we go. And the little hands go in the holes of the legs, which is kind of neat. Huh. All right, I don't, I don't, I don't hate them. Um, I mean, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I just, I never had one of these because I always thought it was kind of, yeah, you know. But now that those move, that's kind of cool. There's actually some pretty good movement here head uh, doesn't turn that's fine you know the legs don't move that's fine it's kind of standard super sentai toyness but it's uh it's all right and then the swords go in the hands that's about it overall i think it's cool uh, um you know i i've been sitting on this one for a while i got it because i liked the box and i was going to display it but the little turtle head hit, hit, hit sticking out under there how do i fix that yeah, I think it's overall it's a fun piece, and I'm glad I have it. Um, again, there's no metal in this at all. There's no, um, you know, sometimes the early Power Ranger toys had the little lightning bolt stickers that they would add to kind of Power Ranger eyes, the Super Sentai bots. This is not that. They didn't do that. So the the instructions, the, the combines the same. I mean, the instructions are in English, of course, on the new one, but, uh, you know, stickers are the same. The toy is the same. So you're not really getting anything by chasing down the Japanese version of this one. But, you know, I know people are completists. And uh, and again, I hope I uh, can f turn this around for a decent um, amount because it just doesn't really belong in my collection anymore. By the time you see this, it'll probably be sold. So don't leave any comments about, oh, man, I want to buy it. It's probably gone. It's actually probably definitely going to be gone. So there you go. That is the... O-Blocker from O-Ranger. 
otherwise known as the Zeo Megazord from a Power Ranger Zeo. This has been Josh from Collection DX. Uh, I hope you are not too bored, but if so, tough shit. Thanks for watching. Bye.